Work folders are a way of implementing file sharing in a little bit more structured way. So work folders are a role service that allows users to synchronize documents between the company file servers and mobile devices. So again, it's kind of like file sharing, but it's a little more structured. It's designed for synchronizing things like my documents with um, to a uh, to a centralized file server. It's not enabled by default, and you can only use it if you're using a Windows 8.1 or Windows RT 8.1 client. Although I'm fairly certain it works with Windows 10 as well. So basically, work folders supports the following: uh, files can be accessed while offline with automatic synchronization to the company file servers when online. So that means when you're connected, it'll synchronize. Then you can go offline, work on your files, and when you're connected back to the network, it's, uh, it'll automatically synchronize to the work folder. Files can be encrypted on the server while being copied between devices. Uh, security policies can be used to force data encryption and to enforce password uh, and device uh, screen lock requirements. High availability methods such as failover clustering are supported, so you can use work folders in a Windows 2012 cluster. Uh, work folders, however, is not a collaboration service. In other words, multiple people cannot work on the same files at the same time. So, you you know, it, the assumption here is that people might mistake work folders to being something like Google Docs, where multiple people can be working on the same Word document, for example, which it is not. Um, it's not designed for that. It's just simply a, a file store for your files while, you know, on the uh, centralized server that will automatically synchronize when you're connected to the network. So the requirements are... Uh, you have to have Windows Server 2012 R2 server that is going to be the work file. I'm sorry, the work folder host server. The uh, it has to use NTFS, uh, so it can't be REFS. The server certificate for each uh, work folder uh, on the host server. So you have to have a uh, a certificate, um, which we'll talk more about certificates later on. The client device has to be Windows 8.1. Uh, although, like I said, I'm fairly certain this also works with Windows 10. And the client devices have to have at least six gigabytes of free space on the client workstation. Uh, so to install, you're going to use the add roles and features uh, in server manager, which we've talked about before, just like you would add any other role. Um, so it'll be under file and storage services, file and iSCSI services, and then you'll install it. That's basically it. So it's a pretty straightforward service, uh, but another option available in Windows 2012. In the next slide deck, I'm going to talk about Windows printing.